Hello. Welcome back to my channel or if you're new, I hope you stick around. Sorry, I haven't posted anything in a month. I know I promised a one shot but I'm back with part 1 of a new series. This has been in my idea stash for almost a year now so I think it's time to finally write it, don't you think? I hope you like it because I'm obsessed with this idea. Now onto the warnings. My content is almost never censored, that goes for curse words, mentions of the sideways tango, etc. So without further ado, let the story begin. Welcome. I'm finally writing a new series so here is part 1. Hope you enjoy. Warning. All of my stories contain no censoring with cursing, sexual scenes and other things too. Trigger warning. Infidelity cheating, arranged marriage, angst, fluff, some 18 plus scenes etc. All good? Let's go. Atsumu sighed to himself as he was heading towards the front door of his lover's home. It was past midnight and the dimply lit hallway was covered in photos of his lover and another a woman. They looked perfect together. She was the ideal woman any man wanted. She was smart, kind, gorgeous, and had so many other amazing qualities. Any man would kill to be in his lover's shoes, but Atsumu so desperately craved to be in hers. He knew all too well what he was. He wasn't the one who gets to wake up next to him. He wasn't the one who cooks him breakfast nor gets to sleep in the same bed. All he was, just a side piece in this sick and twisted tale. He met Sakusa on an early autumn morning during his shift to the local cafe in his city. Atsumu was setting up for early arrivals when the most handsome man he'd ever seen came walking in. His curly locks of hair, those dark emerald eyes that seemed to just draw you in closer, his sharp jawline that was impossible to hide behind that mask of his. The blonde fell head over heels for this man. He was completely shocked by his beauty. No one else could compare to this stranger in looks. Atsumu was in a trance before snapping out of his thoughts, greeting the new customer. Good morning. What can I get for you? He said speaking in his cheerful customer service voice, waiting for the customer's order. I'll take a latte if you don't mind. The male responded in a monotone voice, surprising the latter at the deepness of it. Atsumu only nodded, taking down his order with a light chuckle. You don't look like the type that likes lattes. Dart. Is there a certain look for people who drink lattes? The customer looked at him with a raised eyebrow, confused at the comment he made. Not exactly just the, yeah no, vibe. My, vibe. The vibe you give off. You seem like a guy who prefers expresses. I'm a frap guy myself. He spoke with a hint of pride with his drink of choice. I just need a latte. The man stated. Alright alright that will be 765 yen. He paid for his drink with his card and was told to wait near the end of the counter, where his drink will be placed when finished. Atsumu began making the male's desired drink, humming softly along to the tune that plays over the speakers while swaying his hips to the beat. The male was captured by the barista's beauty, he'd never been attracted to someone like this. He always frayed away from people and relationships and yet there he was an engaged man falling hopelessly for someone else at first sight. He watched as the blonde swayed his hips, adoring his carefree movements. His body's movements were mesmerizing to Sakusa. The ravenette stared immensely as the latter gracefully grabbed a cup off the rack and began to add the ingredients to it. Sakusa shook his head, mentally slapped himself for thinking those thoughts because he knows he's engaged, though it's not like he truly loved the woman. She was just the sole candidate out of an arranged marriage his father is putting him through, that he could stand because all the other ones seemed like complete sluts for money. Minutes go by as those same emerald green eyes remained focused on the blonde, stuck in thought as he wished his marriage would be dissolved so he can flirt with the boy. But that can never be the case. See. Comma. Sir. Comma. Sir. The male was startled out of his thoughts by an angelic voice called out to him. Yes. He stammered out, looking at the blonde who was now standing in front of him. Your yeah, order is ready. Oh thank you. Sakusa spoke as he looked down at the counter to see his drinks. Drinks? He only ordered one. I didn't order two drinks. The blonde just grinned at him with a smile that would blind anyone unprepared for it. Think of it as a special gift from me. What? It's on the house, take it. 
He silently stared at the barista for a second before sighing, letting a little smile form under his mask. Thanks. Sakusa grabbed both drinks off the counter, giving the other a small nod then heading out of the shop and back to his car. He unlocked his car and got in the driver's seat, placing one of the drinks in the cup holder and adding the other to the woman that has been sitting in the passenger seat for the past few minutes. Thank you for getting my drink darling. His Finanke smiled at him as she took a sip of her latte, glancing at the other dark drink that sat in the cup holder. I didn't know you were getting a drink. Well, I felt like I needed some more coffee this morning. He said as he took the car out of park and pulled onto the road, driving his wife to her work, placing a soft kiss on her cheek as a sign of affection he's required to do when he dropped her off. Leaving soon, ready to head to his own workplace. While sipping on his coffee, he noticed how well made it was and made a mental note that he could go visit that cafe again soon. Not just to get some more great coffee but to see that cute barista once more. To be continued.